What the hell was that? Rawlings asked as he threw the stick of the F-A-18F Super Hornet to the left and pulled the jet around hard. Dunk looked up from his radar in the back seat and braced against the building G-force. Small arms, Dunk grunted as he watched muzzle flashes below in the dark. Obviously, Rawlings said. He pushed the throttles up full to military power. Duncan glanced at the flashes far below them, barely visible in the distance. They were definitely shooting. He glanced at the altimeter. We're way out of their range. They don't know that. Dunk rolled his eyes. Actually, they probably do. Then why? Wasting 50 of the 90 bullets each of those shitheads has for fun? Beats me. They're just not... Call Fireplug, ask him if they're expecting anything around there. Dunk considered. Fireplug was the E-3 AWACS controlling all the air traffic over the mountains of Afghanistan, and in particular where they were, the border with Pakistan near Waziristan, as it was called, which had declared itself to be part of the Fatah in Pakistan, the federally administered tribal areas. Dunk and the other aviators thought it should be called the non-federal, non-administered, non-tribal area. It was mountainous and full of Al-Qaeda and Taliban. Dunk checked their fuel. They had a long way to go to get back to the carrier. Let's head home, we're almost bingo. Raw dipped the right wing of the Hornet violently and transmitted to his wingman. Bronco, you see that small arms fire? Bronco, the pilot of the other F-A-18 in the two-plane flight, was also a lieutenant, senior to Rawlings but junior to Duncan. Bronco replied over the encrypted channel, no threat, they're near the border. Rawlings said to Dunk again, call Fireplug. I'll call him when I feel like it, you just fly the plane. Call him, get us cleared in there. Dunk gritted his teeth. Fireplug Control, Whiskey Hotel 09, over. The E3 answered quickly. Whiskey Hotel 09, Fireplug Control, go ahead. We're picking up some small arm... Rawlings interrupted and transmitted over Duncan. Substantial small arms. Duncan continued. About four miles from us, on a radial of 044. Do you want us to investigate? Otherwise, we're RTB. Stand by. Rawlings continued his jerky left turn around the distant shooting, which continued. Get ready to roll in on these assholes, Rawlings said. Forget about Whiskey Hotel 09. We have reports of small arms fire from many sources across the border, not considered a threat to any coalition forces. You are instructed to RTB. Return to base. Unbelievable, Rawlings said on the ICS that only Dunk could hear. Dunk transmitted. Roger, fire plug, Wilco. Then to Rawlings. Take heading of 205, set 300 knots. Whiskey Hotel 09, fire plug control, over. Dunk was surprised and answered quickly. Go ahead, fire plug. Are you able to accept a 15-minute diversion for a new target for your JDAM, over? Dunk looked at their fuel remaining, then his fuel ladder on his kneeboard. Will we be able to maintain our current altitude? Affirmative. Tell him we'll take it, Raw insisted over the ICS. I'm gonna blow something up tonight, damn it. Fire plug, Whiskey Hotel 09, affirmative. What's the vector? Whiskey Hotel 09, vector to your target, 125 for 40 miles over. 09, roger. Send me the coordinates. Raw whipped the Hornet around to a heading of 125 as Dunk grunted against the G's and watched the target icon appear on his screen. He rolled his cursor over it and read the coordinates and the vector. It was the same bearing and distance as the vector fire plug had given them over the radio. Dunk slaved his radar around in the direction of their turn and searched for buildings in ground mode. I've got coordinates and good predator uplink, he reported. He looked at the chart superimposed on his display. Fireplug, this target is over the border. Concur, 09. We cleared? We'll give you final clearance when you have the target image and can identify it. We have intel on several high-value targets in a building. You should be getting a predator uplink to confirm. I'm getting it. Raw glanced at the HSI and steadied out on their heading. He increased speed to 400 knots. Five minutes to our drop point, Dunk transmitted to Paco, the WSO wingman, on their encrypted discrete squadron frequency. You getting that predator feed? Yep, 
Sweet. You got a good radar confirmation yet? Paco responded. No final ID yet. Wait. He saw the target information flash up on his screen. He said to Raw, We got good info from the Predator, transferring latitude longitude. He watched his indications from the JDAM, the GPS-guided bomb, that it had received and confirmed the targeting information. He saw the target indication on his radar fixed over what appeared to be a large flat building in a village. We're ready. He ran through the challenge and response checklist and finished with, Master Arm on. Raw was more than ready. Master Arm coming on. Dunk saw the indication. Fireplug Whiskey Hotel 09, ready to drop. Whiskey Hotel 09, Fireplug, good data link. Target confirmed, cleared to drop. Dunk checked his weapons panel, confirmed everything was correct, and hit the lighted bomb release button by his left knee. Bombs away, Dunk said to Raw as they could feel the airplane leap as the 2,000-pound bomb came free and plunged earthward, accelerating in the darkness. Shit hot, Raw said gleefully as he turned hard left toward Afghanistan to go all the way around to a heading of 185 to the carrier. Let's get back to the ship. Dunk looked over his shoulder to watch the bomb hit. They were at 25,000 feet, but the target was in a high valley maybe 10,000 feet below them. He strained to keep looking between the tails, waiting for the impact, and suddenly saw the unmistakable flash and plumes of several missiles racing up at them. Shit! Flares! He yelled to Raw. What? Flares! Break left! Come to idle! Missiles guiding on us! Raw was confused but complied immediately. He hit the button on his stick to fire the flares that would draw heat-seeking missiles away. But it was too late. The American-made Stinger missile hit the tailpipe of the left engine. Three other Stingers followed it home and exploded inside the disintegrating engine. The FA-18F Super Hornet's engine afterburner section exploded, ripping the tail off the fighter. What the hell? Ross screamed as he fought to keep control of the jet. Dunk reached between his legs, put his head back, and pulled the handle firing the rocket motors that threw their ejection seats into the air and opened their parachutes in the night sky. Dunk looked down between his feet at the dark Pakistan countryside below.